Thank you very much for accessing part two of the TPS 6598X application customization GUI tool video series. This video will walk you through how to configure the GUI to match your power paths, describe power data objects, show you how to edit or add source and sync PDOs, and utilize the host interface technical reference manual. Before editing the GUI, you need to evaluate your design's power paths. For this example, we will be looking at the TPS 65987 EVM. The EVM contains two internal power paths, a sync path on power path 1 and a source path on power path 2. Now that we have a list of what power paths our design contains, we can match the GUI to these power paths. This is done by looking at the Global System Configuration Register, or Register 27. Ensure that the switches match the power paths from the schematic. Outside of the power paths, the GUI also enables you to edit the PDO sent by the device. A PDO is a power data object, which is power capability data sent between the source and the sink during power negotiation. A PDO contains a current, voltage, and supply type. This image shows an example of a PDO sent by a source advertising what power capabilities the source has. The GUI has register 32 for the source capabilities that you can edit. The number of PDOs the source advertised is sent by the number of bank zero source PDOs box. The source switch should match the source power path chosen in register 27. For our example, this is power path 2. Next, the current can be changed. The maximum current entered and the peak current allowed are changed on the device and offer overcurrent protection or OCP. Next, the voltage can be changed for the desired PDO source voltage. The supply type is highlighted in order to know what type of supply the PDO is advertising. These inputs are available for each PDO. Register 33 changes the sync capabilities the device sends. The number of PDOs can be changed in the first box. The current and voltage settings can be changed in the below boxes. The supply type is also listed in this register. For more information on these settings, check out the host interface technical reference manual linked below. For more information on the configuration settings, the device-specific host interface technical reference manual can be used. The GUI's port settings tab contains the configuration settings and their corresponding registers. The GUI allows configuration for the most commonly used registers. The host interface technical reference manual provides information on each configuration setting and is device-specific. It lists the registers and gives the unique address interface commands. You can read more about the individual bits in the register table in the manual. A link to the host interface technical reference manual can be found below. To find the bit associated with a setting in any register, select Show Bit Field Ranges from the Settings tab. This will display the bit position next to the setting. Once you know the bit number, you can read more about it using the host interface. Thank you for watching the PowerPass and Source and Sync PDOs video in the GUI video series. Check out the other videos on the GUI basics or alternate modes and debugging.